think somebody might be missing their chair. It might make two of us. <coughs> Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, I've got a... Um, I forgot what I was going to say then. <laughs> Mind on other things. Um, I've got a Orchid Society com meeting coming up on Saturday and I've been using some of my time to actually have a flipping good think about what goes on out here and um, I've got about a dozen plants that I'm going to sell and um, some of them are biggies and I've, I've just been going through pictures of what blooms look like and things and thinking do I need that one? Yeah I do. Do I need that one? Yeah, not so sure. So there's some plants that are either duplicates or um, <sighs> Well, as an example, get through the jungle. That nobly at the back there is enormous. And I've had a look round the nobilies and the blooms, and that one's my least favourite. <laughs> I've got two of them. And I'm th sort of thinking, why the hell am I keeping it? Look how much space that single plant takes up. Don't worry, that spike's not on it. That's not a nobly spike anyway. You all know that. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm having a sort out. Um, Sorry, I'm moving the camera a bit quick. I'm in the middle of doing something else. That one's going to go, and that's in flower. So that, that, uh, I'll get a reasonable price for that. But when I sell plants, they're only a token price. I don't try and make any money. And the reason for selling some plants on, like I said, is to gain some space ready for the ideas I've got coming up for winter. Um, well, just to give you an outline, the idea of taking resting dendrobiums up into the bedroom is not going to happen. Um, I've thought about it and I've had a look at the sort of temperatures that I was recording up in that room. And quite honestly, they only get a degree or two lower than they do in here. So the idea really is to get the warm liking plants out of here into the house where it's warm because I don't like getting freezing cold. So they can come in with me and keep warm, and with the cats. And um, by doing that, I can let the temperature here drop an extra degree or two. And given that all the shade netting comes off that end, my resting dendrobiums can go up there against the glass. They'll get as much light there as they do up in the bedroom. But they get the humidity and they get me looking at them on a regular basis, which they just didn't get up in the bedroom. I lost plants last year trying to rest them and I'm not doing it again. Um, some plants will not get rested simply because they're not in a position to be so. I mean, there's a classic little one here, the hairy monster. This is Dendrobium senile or senile. Um, bought as a plant, got it home, decided to remount it because I didn't like the cork tile it was on and found it was lots of little plants but tucked away in behind here we've not only got some new growths we have got some roots starting to grow and I emphasize starting to grow if I rest that I'll probably kill it like I did the last one so you know some things are just not strong enough to go into a rest and I think they'll rest just as good in here and with the humidity probably a lot better you know then they're, they're not going to desiccate so fast and the idea is to reduce the water right down well if the air humidity is good which is what they'd be getting in the natural environment that's going to be closer to nature which is you know a, a lot of what I like to do um, yeah so uh, ideas for the winter but to, to enable me to do that and get dendrobiums including some big ones like the nobilies you know things like that um, some things will need sorting out and um, I need to get access to that end where the shade netting comes right off I need more space so I'm gonna sell a few off I've dumped a few been quite hard line out here lately that's the mood I've been in um, oh, I wanted to show this. Um, I forget who it was. It might have been Rose, but somebody who's got Shelob Tolkien was really commenting on the colours it turns to as it dies. And they are fabulous. 
you know, okay, the plant itself, you know, the, the healthy blooms, so that's about the last one that's still got its original colours now, are oh, smashing, but look at the colour change. It, it's gorgeous, and then they fall off. <laughs> yeah, that's life. Um, another thing I want to do, and I'll try and keep it short, um, I want a line drawn on my channel. What's been said has been said, can't be unsaid. What's been done can't be undone. But what we can do is draw a line and say that was then and this is now and we move forward. Because if this is not going to be a happy place for me to be, then I won't be here and you won't see it. And, you know, there's far too many people would not want that. And I have everyone's best interests at heart. So um, I'm drawing a line. But to enable me to draw that line, there has to be a few guidelines. This is fundamentally an orchid channel, a bit of bonsai now and again, a couple of nature walks now and again, you know, those sorts of things. But fundamentally, it's an orchid channel. It's not a gossip column. It's not the place where you go, well, she said, and then he said, and oh, and then they said. That, that, that's for Facebook and other places. It's not for orchid channels. You don't need all that. You know, let's try and stick to the point. And, you know, remember, if somebody puts a comment up that you don't like, they're talking to me. It's, it's my video that the comment's been made against. There's no need to jump in, you know, and disagree and... Uh, and we don't have words like stupid or question somebody's intelligence because of a remark they've made. Just remember, some people don't speak good English. Some of the comments have gone through a translation piece of software. They don't always come out right. Have a bit of tolerance for what people say, you know. And I will mention the YouTube backdoor. Yeah, that's what I call it. It's basically the personal messages. It's a way to have a chat with somebody on their channel without everybody else seeing it. Not everybody likes their comments public. So they like to do them privately and have a chat about their plants, send pictures and stuff like that. And that's fundamentally what it's for. What it's not for is abuse. And when you see, you know, nice people suddenly losing their rag, you might want to stop and think what's been said via that place, not in public. And I am aware that some serious abuse has gone on. And it's not on. That's not what our Orchid YouTube channels are about. And I've got some very long-term friends that I do not want getting upset. And some new ones. Yeah? So what we don't do is pick sides. Because there should never be a reason to take sides. Keep it within the topic. Keep it nice. And while I'm at it, I will say something else that's gone in via back doors in amongst that abuse. You do not have a pop at somebody's race or their colour or their religious beliefs. And that includes not having any religious beliefs because that in itself is a belief, whether you like it or not. You do not have a pop at those things. OK, so just a few guidelines, but... Abuse will not be tolerated. It's my channel and it's my say. And if I see anything that looks like it's heading down that road, I'll put out a warning shot in a polite manner. If I see it again, the comment will get deleted. If I see it again, the person will be removed from my channel and won't be able to come back. Okay, I don't want it. I do not want my channel turning into a battleground. Whether I had a part in it or not, the line has been drawn. What's past is past. And from now on, we move forward. And we get back to the happy place. Um, as I said, I've got some plants to sort out and I've got a Orchid Society meeting on Saturday, but it's the one where I don't normally film because it's incredibly difficult to get at the plants But I might actually make an effort this time and see if I can actually get at their tables and clamber over the chairs and Elbow people out of the way politely. Excuse me <laughs> filming <laughs> That sort of thing 
anyway um, so that that's for then and um, next video will probably be just looking at the plants that I'm going to sell um, the meeting is in the afternoon of Saturday um, which means I'll have to get in here and move a lot of stuff around Saturday morning you know to get at the plants I want to actually take out so I may film those just before they go so you can have a last look at them and wave bye bye unless nobody buys them and I have to bring them home again <laughs> that does happen <laughs> but we'll see how it goes so uh, yeah that's a sort of clearing the air um, what's done is done what's said is said but cut out the abuse. I don't care which direction it's heading. I don't care who started it. I don't care. Just cut it out. It's not nice. Yeah? You've got people being upset. You know, people taking sides and all stuff. We don't need all that. You know, if you think you need all that, set up your own channel and have it there. But don't bring it here. I will not have this place turning into a battleground. Because I won't be happy. Yeah. Anyway, loads of jobs done, loads still to do. And I'm out of practice. <laughs> I'm not filming anything, am I? I'm pointing at blank. <laughs> oh well, um, so be it. Um, I've just had to wire this. Everywhere that Peter Comp is at the moment, it's in the flipping way. And uh, <laughs> it's such a nice flower. I still can't even see that flower properly. I just can't get it anywhere where I can see it without it being in the way so that's one you know there, there are reasons for having a clear out it's um that thing's going you know that huge maxillaria tenuifolia I am not that keen on the blooms it doesn't bloom that well for me and it's flipping enormous so you know that's that that's on the cards that's on its way out and chances are the piece of that that I've got in a pot is going to go as well it's just not my favourite plant. Big strappy thing taking up all the flipping room here and blocking out the light. Well, if it doesn't get the light, it doesn't bloom. And by putting it up there, there's all other stuff getting shaded. So that's, that's the thought process is, you know, do I really need this plant? Is it my favourite? And um, I've got an offer from a viewer who's actually going to an orchid nursery that has a mixed reputation. There's been some flipping good plants have come out of that place. You know, you see the unboxing videos, but some of them haven't been so good. But this, um, this person has kindly offered to actually visit the nursery. I think they were going anyway, but, um, you know, they made an offer. If you want to have a look at their website and choose some plants, I'll go and hand pick them, you know, and choose the best one out of what's there. Um, as opposed to somebody packing it up and sending you the worst one, <laughs> which does happen. You know, so I might be getting some new orchids. Um, our orchid show coming up at the end of September. Um, who's coming? Come on, own up, get a comment in there. Yeah, I'll be there, see you there, all that sort of stuff. Oliver, you coming? Archie, you coming? <laughs> oh, talking of Archie, um, Archie Smith. If you're going to have a look at his channel, um, He's famous. <laughs> he's, it, he's a youngster. He's 15 years old, for goodness sake. He stood up and done a talk at the Carmarthen, Carmarthen, my mouth won't work, um, orchid thing that was going on in deepest Wales. I, when I heard he was going to do a talk, I wanted to go, but I was looking at like <laughs> nearly four hours drive and yeah, not good road. So, you know, it, it was a little bit too much to add in to what I had on my plate. So I didn't go, but he was interviewed by BBC Radio and he's um, posted the interview on his channel. So if you want to hear him talking to the world on the radio, go and have a listen to his channel. Yeah, he might only be young, but his head's screwed on and he knows his stuff, certainly about certain types of orchids. So just don't write people off just because they're young and they haven't been growing very long. It's the capability to learn and quite honestly, Youngsters usually learn a lot faster than us oldies. <laughs> you know, some of us have to be told three or four times, including me. Oh, let's have a quick look at that. I think that may go to the show table on um, Saturday. I'm not sure how that will go down, though, because it is two plants. Um, I don't know how the judges will view that. 
but um, quite honestly the lower plant has only got one bloom left and that's probably going to be gone by Saturday. I know actually it's a spike on each plant isn't it? Well all I can do is take it and see what they say. I mean if it, if it can't go in the um, on the judging tables at least it can go there for people to have a look at. Um, there's a difference in the colours. You know those that have been open a day or two and those that are just opening real green on the new ones and then fading to white and then the fragrance comes and <laughs> boy is it good stuff uh, if I remember to come out here in the dark of course you know fall over something like the cat <laughs> but yeah it's a bit of a clear out time stuff to go <coughs> stuff to think about a few things have already been trashed I'm fed up with looking at them they've had long enough you know, you, you know <laughs> some things get given an awful lot of chances and um, some don't somebody asked how the um, catlier pieces that were lying on the side of the shelf for a very long time doing absolutely nothing are actually getting on since I potted them up so I'll just see if I can get both of those down it's still slightly wobbly in their pots. So this was the one that had the single root and no sign of any growths. Well, that growth looks like it's pushing. The root, however, has gone right down in the pot and come out the side. So the root's growing and hopefully, although I can't see it, it may be branching. And maybe there's other roots growing deep down in there. I don't know and I'm not going to dig it out to find out. But it does look vaguely like that growth is going to push on now. So that's one. And the other one. The other one had a growth just starting and signs of roots. Well, I think I can relatively safely say that that one is going to make it now. That new growth has pushed on and it looks reasonably strong which I'm surprised at given the support it's got <laughs> but the roots are also pushing on you know they are actively growing there are two pushing down into the pot that I can see and the one that's along the top of the pot which will probably grab hold of the edge of the pot soon anyway you know, the water's dripping all over me I haven't long watered them so yeah quick update on those two um, there's a couple more eyes on this one that might push on, but I think it's going to need a better root system than that. At the moment, that new growth is getting a little bit of support from the roots, and it's probably sucking the life out of the little bit that's left in those desiccated bulbs. But it's having a go. At least it's trying. Unlike some of the things that are under the hedge that just weren't trying at all. You know, you've got to put some effort in plants. Come on. Uh, Let's get those two back where they go. Yeah, so that'll do for now. Unfortunately, my Dees is starting to go. These two are already on their way. Um, I think what I will probably do with these is... Um, I've been told by people who grow these that um, on these particular plants it does pay to leave the spike because they do go through a process of reabsorbing. I don't believe all orchids do that, but so, they, these do definitely from experienced people. But what they have said is as the blooms start to fade, it pays to snip the blooms off, but leave the spike. Let the spike die back naturally and go back into the corns because this is not like most orchids we grow it in fact is nothing like most of the orchids we grow it has a corm you know like a well, almost like an underground bulb i suppose you could call it but um yeah there's stuff going on in the pot that's quite different to your normal epiphytes so uh but yeah it's not going to be long for this world is it never mind that's what happens basically at least it like i got that at the um malvern show that was the middle of June. It's September now, and they're still there. Let's just, let's just hope I can get some more next year. It may be a bit of a struggle, but I'm willing to put the effort in, because I want to see those blooms again. OK, that'll do for now. As I said, air cleared and line drawn. This is not a battleground, it's not a gossip column, and I'd prefer people not to put links to other channels or other people's videos in the open comment section because it means 
my viewers get led off there and at the other end of that link might be something I don't agree with or whatever you know but I would like first dibs I think it's called so if you've got a channel that you think I'll be interested in and I'm always interested in new people coming up and I've done my best to promote people and things like that in the past you know push new channels and stuff and sent people across to have a quick look stuff like that you know you can go and look you don't have to stay it's an open world the YouTube orchid world and I'd like it to be that I don't want my channel to feel as though there's restrictions it's an open channel I've always said everyone is welcome yeah so irrespective of what's happened in the past I don't feel the need to go around getting rid of subscribers all are welcome just behavior flipping selves okay and me included yeah so a line's been drawn we now move forward and keep this place a happy place keep your comments coming all that sort of stuff nothing's really changed it's just had a bad patch like people People can go through a bad patch. People can lose their rag over something when that's not in their nature and say things perhaps they didn't mean, you know. And you can also get <laughs> misconstrued meanings due to an awful lot of people around this YouTube world that they're not putting comments up in their first language make allowances it doesn't always come out the way it was intended well don't jump on people just because they spelt a word wrong or something like that just be nice yeah. so we move forward or we don't move at all these, these really are the choices I have sat and thought deeply about whether I will pick this camera up again seriously I don't want people getting upset you know, I don't want people have, you know, come along relatively recently, got involved, you know. Um, I don't, I'm quite a private person. It might not seem like it, but it is. Just ask yourself, what do you really know about me, the person? All you ever see is what's on the videos. Okay, I know some people have actually met me in person, but not that many, not in comparison to those that view, anyway. And, um... I want to keep it like that. I want to say you are all welcome. So I'm not going round getting rid of subscribers. I'm not going round deleting comments in the past. But I will keep my eye on things in the future. And if I th see things that I think are kicking off, I will step in and deal with it. I won't let things get out of hand anymore. Um, maybe I should have done earlier, but I didn't because, you know, like I've always said, all are welcome. Disagree with me by all means. There's a famous saying, if you talk, all you do is repeat what you know. If you listen, you might learn something. Yeah, so by disagreeing with me, with some backup, please, <laughs> um, I may learn something. And the learning should never stop. Well, it doesn't stop. You can shut your ears to it, but it doesn't stop. The learning goes on. And sometimes, by keep harping on about the same thing and doing things the same way, you may never change and you may never learn. Well, so be it. That's how you want to be. I don't want to stop learning. Yeah? So, by all means, disagree. And then we can have a chat. But all the others who see that comment disagreeing with me, you have to stop and ask yourself, is that your business? Because they've disagreed with me. So the initial conversation is with me. So don't jump in before you've even heard what I might want to say. Because they've disagreed with me. And I might then think about it and actually agree with that disagree. Am I getting lost yet? No, not quite. You see what I mean? I might actually go away, do some research and come back and say, well done, I didn't know that. And people have jumped in in a conversation that hasn't even got going yet. So think, engage brain, then type. Yeah, don't type and then go away and think, actually, I wonder if that's come over right. Yeah, think first. Put a bit of thought into it. And like I've always said, 
Remember, behind every person who comments and every video that gets posted is a real person. Yeah? If you want to gossip and have a slanging match, go to Facebook or take it to another channel. Please don't bring it here. I don't want it. It's not what this channel's all about. Yeah? So we'll have no more of that and we'll have more of this sort of stuff because that's what it's all about. Okay? See you again.